Hello, my name is Kai, and today we're going to take a look at the Holga 135 BC. Let's see what we have in our box here. One camera, camera strap, and instructions. That's it. Instructions are nicely illustrated. And uh, they look pretty complete. That's good. Let's take a look at our camera. Okay, now those of you familiar with the Holga 120, the lens looks almost identical. It's got the same mount, same zone focusing, an aperture switch from sunny to cloudy. Um, one thing I was amused to notice is that um, in the Holga 120, uh, due to a design defect, um, they put the uh, second aperture behind the first aperture. So if you can see the aperture through the lens there, um, nothing's happening when you flip the switch. And if we look at the um, what's happening on the inside, I'll hold the shutter open. I don't know if you can see this, but as I flip the switch, you can see an arm swinging into place behind the um, the aperture in the lens. But it's essentially a square, so you're getting the same amount of light in as with the um, the original aperture. So essentially, this is a one aperture camera. Um, we have two shutter settings, bulb and N. The bulb will keep your lens open for as long as you depress the shutter. The N is about a hundredth of a second. We have a uh, rewind button here at the bottom and also a tripod socket, counter window, hot shoe, rewind crank, and a shutter release. Now a nice little touch to the shutter release is that it is threaded for a um, cable release. If you use a locking cable release um, and set the camera to B, you can do um, long exposures without actually having to physically hold the shutter down. And that's a nice touch. Let's take a look on the inside here. The way you open this is you pull on the rewind crank and that opens the back. So it's a pretty standard uh, 35 millimeter film assembly. Take up spool, cogs to, for the film counter. Um, if you look on the inside here, you'll see the mask. It's essentially a clear mask with an oval shape in it. And that, what that does is um, the clear mask is actually going to stop enough light to darken the corners of the film, which is um, gives the camera the BC, um, which I've, also, I've seen either as um, blackened corners or bent corners. Uh, I'm not sure which. Um, I guess it could be either. And that is the Holga 135.